Iggy Azalea has opened up about how much money she is making from her OnlyFans account. The musician joined the platform last month, announcing her biggest project to date, titled Hotter Than Hell. OnlyFans, a creator-led internet content subscription service, can be used by any type of content maker. But it has long been home to the sex worker community since creators can make money directly from their content rather than using a third party. Hotter Than Hell is a year-long undertaking, which includes photographs, visual art collabs, videos, merch, and all kinds of aesthetically pleasing, hot as hell things, Azalea said on Instagram at the time of the launch. She will also be launching a coffee table book as part of the project. Speaking on the Hilo with Imrata podcast, hosted by model Emily Ratajkowski, the Australian rapper revealed that she was making so much money from subscription fees paid by users on the platform. When asked by Radikovsky if she shares nudity on the platform, the Black Widow rapper said yes but I don't show vagina, but there is boobs, and there is butt, and I am naked. The model, intrigued by how much money Azalea makes from the content, quizzed Azalea about the figure she earns. Azalea replied, I'm making so much money that I won't even say how much it is. The model praised Azalea's new business venture and said she had been considering joining the platform herself. Radikovsky who soared to fame after appearing in Robin Thicke's music video for Blurred Lines, has been open about how she has been objectified and sexualized at different stages in her modeling career. She told the fancy singer, You and I have commodified our bodies. But this OnlyFans is more direct. On Instagram, you get followers and hope a deal comes later. Azalea then suggested that using OnlyFans to share content allows her to take ownership of her body with no compromises. It was scary when I sat on OnlyFans, she said of her first days on the platform. I'm someone who shows my breasts or my nudity. I don't really have a problem with being overtly sexual when I'm in control of it and when I feel it has artistic merit. Every platform is so censored so it makes sense to use this platform, she said. She said that using the site to share visual work cuts out the middleman. Adding, it's a way of doing something for myself that I don't have to compromise on. Azalea's presence on the platform comes after many sex workers who rely on OnlyFans as a source of income have criticized celebrities who stared sharing content on the site. After Disney star Bella Thorne joined the site in 2020, charging $20.16 pounds per month for paywalled content that turned out to be non-nude selfies, many subscribers complained they had been scammed. Meanwhile, sex workers criticized Thorne for gentrifying the platform and for charging a high subscription fee compared to what they offer their subscribers.